Hey guys, Shez here. I'm gonna run you through the process on how I made my ribbon animation through both After Effects and Clip Studio Paint so that hopefully one day you can create your own animations just like I did of your favorite characters or maybe just an animal or something that you would like to create. Here's how I did it and yeah, enjoy. <laughs> So to start off with creating the uh, model, what I did was I separated them into different folders, as you can see down in the bottom right corner here. Um, each body part has its own folder. Um, and inside that folder, if we focus on, there's lots of body parts for a ribbon. So if we go down to the face here, um, there are lots of different layers, all that um, sort of help make up the face. Um, so these are all the different compositions that you will see in After Effects. Um, having them all separated like this makes it really easy to add movement because if it was all um, one simple image, it is a lot harder to be able to rotate limbs and move them around. Um, whereas having each part separately uh, really helps and if we go to one of the legs um, You will also see that they are in composition. So the foot is one the leg and then the, um, the lower leg and upper leg all of these separates allow for movement um, Which is probably the most important thing when it comes to animating your character um, and once you have got all the body parts put together and coloured, then you can go ahead and uh, get ready to export as a Photoshop document. Now unfortunately one of the hard parts for this animation was actually getting the audio. Um, I <laughs> I struggled with it because I'm trying to do it solo, this happened. <laughs> So I actually had to get a team. Thank you so much to those who helped me do a legit ribbon run just so I could go in and get the audio. And whenever I had ribbon come out, I simply deafened them while they did the raid so I could listen to her and get the noises that I needed. However, this wasn't the best way because it also had all the background noises and the shooting. So that became an issue and I'll sort of go into detail on how I was able to try my best to edit that out um, with the very limited knowledge I have of After Effects so uh, yeah. So once you've done your body parts you will want to save them as a Photoshop file and move them over to um, after Effects as a composition. This will allow you to keep all your body parts and everything together and in the positions that you've drawn them in. Um, animating is not as hard as you may think it would be. I'm a beginner, this is my second time animating, so this is how I sort of like learnt to do it. Um, so there's three key things on how I use, I animated it. One, using puppet pins. And then the others are playing with the rotation and position of each of your layers. So what I've done here is I've used puppet pins in the tail and in the face um, skeleton. And I used a lot of starch pins. If you go up in the top here, the starch pins are the red ones and the puppet uh Position pins are the yellow. So I use the yellow ones to move and create the movement in the tail and the red ones are used to sort of keep the bone and make it look like it has nice movement. Um, as for other parts like the legs, I actually just played with the rotation and the positioning. So if we go and open the back leg, I will zoom out here for you guys so you can sort of see. Um, all I have played with is positioning and rotation, like I said. And if I can, wherever my bar is, you can see that 
it's all just the rotation and the positioning. Um, once you have played with the model and got it to work, then I added in the sound. The sound was probably the hardest part, um, mainly because I had to play around with um, the audio to get it sounding all right. Because if you don't, I sort of did it uh, like a bit of a, a curve. If you get it, if you can, you can see down here how it sort of goes from dim to. I, I'm not a sound expert, so I'm trying my best to explain it. But um, yeah, it's just to make it sound more like it's meant to be there because a lot of the other background noise was cutting in with it. So I sort of had to make it drown in and then drown out um, to make it fit. And then uh, with the background, I simply stood in the... Um, area that I've put the model in and just had that ambient sound play for around 20 seconds and put that in for the background noise and that's simply how I did it then I exported it as a mp4 and you have your animation as a simple 10 second loop hopefully that sort of helped give some insight on how I created it hopefully you'll be able to make your own feel free to ask me any questions if I didn't go into any detail in this video and yeah, best of luck with your designs. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.